This is Vish Burra, founder and president of Basilisk, Basilisk Strategies. Come find me on Mango Bay with the Sama and Pranav now. Mango Bay, Mango Bay. <laughs> For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. This is Mango Bay. One stop shop for South Asian reckless since we are two best boys. Usama Siddiqui. Pranav Bihari. Bringing it to you today. Subscribe to the Patreon. Yes. Just get in there. You already know what you're getting. Just go subscribe right now. Subscribe to the YouTube as well if you haven't already. We're really trying to grow over there. Thank you. We are here today. One of our favorite guests. We love this guy. With it two in one year. We're so happy. We're so lucky. The bag man himself, the swag man <laughs> himself, the jet setting. <laughs> But never jet lagged man, actually. <laughs> Vish Bora Vish, how the fuck are you, dude? What's up, man? Living. You know me, guys. I'm yeah. always living dude, life, uh, jumping around, uh, moving around, <laughs> floating around <laughs> everywhere. I just got floating off the, around. Floating, <laughs> we're floating around. I just got off the pl- flight from Palm Beach yesterday. Yeah. I was uh, down there. I was moving and shaking some things. Yeah, you know? what were you up to down there? Uh, you know, I know a couple people from the, like, you know, the Mar-a-Lago mafia, okay. you know what I mean? Was, you, know, just, you just go, you know, okay, you got to make sure you're in oh, the yes. know, show face. <laughs> Alan Finkelstein, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, of the you Mar-a-Lago know. mafia. They're There's down a- there protecting all the cats, <laughs> <laughs> protecting all the cats and all the geese. All the bingo from the Haitians. There was a lot of women that were very concerned about cats being <laughs> eating. They're, they're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. They wanted, they wanted answers. They wanted answers. And I told them, I, listen, for that kind of protection, yeah. it's going to cost you. That, that is kind of Trump's like uh, overall charm, right? There's no posits. It's just what is, right? Yes, we're, yes. All, we're all angry. We're all, that's all, we're all angry. <laughs> no one's angry. We're all angry. You that's know, right. it's that level of like, you're so, the declarative statements. Well, you know? well, it's just, it's the New York bluntness, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. 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 It's just like, this is what we're all seeing. So I'm just going to say what we're yeah. all seeing. He's yeah. one step away from being like, dead ass. Yeah. Dead, <laughs> ass. dead ass. No cap. No cap. cap. On God. Cash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got a fax. Yeah, yeah you fax. He said facts. Facts. He said facts during a debate. <laughs> got RFK, Aura, incredible R on this guy. Oh my God. Unbelievable Riz. Did they say RFK? I like to say Riz FK. <laughs> you know, you know I, I watched this video. <laughs> this guy is doing, you've ever seen the bench presses in the gym with the guys with the big chest? I'm watching this guy. He's He's got to be 60 years old, at least, at least. And he's just putting him out like that. I said, who is this guy? They really said Robert F. Kennedy. I said, that's a Kennedy? Oh, my <laughs> gosh, they've gotten so $20. big. <laughs> they've gotten <laughs> so big. Hilarious. Let's just uh, remind where we left off last time, brother. We It was right... It was literally right after Santos got expelled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. and we got into a little bit of the Santos and the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't forget to subscribe to hey, the Patreon. Yeah, right? that is yes. where you get all the deep yeah, right? dirt on yes. Santos. That's where you. That's where we we went into like you know some yes. of the spicier mm-hmm. stuff, right? So uh, that since, that happened. Yeah. Since then, since then, I went back to you know just consulting, freelancing, right? Kind of mm-hmm. you pro- helping whoever you know. I'm a yeah. mercenary. Yeah, you yeah, are. You're, you're an so, operative, dude. I'm an operative. You yeah. know, wherever the, and that too. It's like. I'm also ideologically driven, so some things I just don't do for money. I yeah. just mm. do it just because yeah, yeah, I want sure. to. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Right? So, because you're, uh, I mean, you're on what, the this shit, we're also Indian as fuck. Yeah, you know? exactly. Got the MAGA hat with the NASA on it. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's right. That's the most Indian thing I've seen all to day. To the stars, <laughs> yeah. baby, to the moon, right? I, by, I, by the way, this hat I got uh, when I went to go watch a SpaceX launch with George Santos. Ooh, Dude, right. how funny. It's like a trucker hat with NASA on it. It's oh, like yeah, so know, fun. It's this, antithetical, this actually. It's so great. Yeah. I just love you this know, hat. Oh, Most yeah. of the people who wear it don't believe in space. <laughs> that's what I'm you saying. Know? They think uh, the moon landing was a hoax. Oh, but, yeah, no. <laughs> well, you know what? Honestly, in this day and age, I want to do like a TikTok yeah. on the moon. Oh, right? yeah. like, that's a level of cloud I don't think we've reached yet. Oh, so yeah. it's coming. It's coming. That's the cloud Diablo. I have no <laughs> choice Diablo. but to seek it out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So wait, so you've been uh, sat down and working. What's the, are you staying in the political sphere at all? Well, or so, what, what's so, going on? Uh, you know, I've done, I've, I've had a couple of media projects that I that I worked on, you know, yep. through these months, mm-hmm. uh, a little bit with War Room and stuff, yeah. you know, back back to that stuff. And I, I had a couple of on and off clients, a little, you know, opposition work, a little investigative work, a little event what do you, what work. Do you mean? What do you mean? 
investigative. Uh, sometimes, yeah. And sometimes, like, if you anticipate, so let's say you, you anticipate something like, mm-hmm. I might end up in the administration next year. I might get appointed as an ambassador or mm-hmm. something like that. So, like, you know, in the, in the, the uh, it, it's Senate appointed or Senate mm-hmm. confirmed, basically. So, like, during that time, all these people who want to, like, hurt everyone who's going to be working for a Trump, let's say. Yeah. They're going to look into, like, me or mm-hmm. and, and they're going to look up this dirt. So, like. What if I can head that off mm-hmm. and by like doing a scrub, going to see what is out there yes, and then yes, trying yes, to clean yes, it up, yes, bury yes. it, whatever it is, you know? And yeah. so they go and get well, some of the best guys who are available, who can do yeah. that. And they call, you know, they whoever knows who, me, who, they, who they, they're going to call. They're call me. It's like, yo, yeah, so dude. I need you to like You're the B.A. Baracus of yeah. the Republican mm. A-team yeah. of, of fixers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, you know, they're like, hey, like, what if I'm the like, I'm the client and the target? You know what I mean? So like. Is, well, what would you do to me? And I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so like, I'll pay you to, I'll, you can pay me to tell you yeah, 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 how yeah. I would destroy you. You, you, you know? have like the bag man smile, man. That's what it is. That's <laughs> like, yeah, I know everything about you, dude. <laughs> well, that, well, they, oh, that also look, cause the whole idea is like, there's nothing you can tell me that can scare me. Right? Yeah. Right. And that like comes from. You know, my background, like you guys remember, I've, I've gotten into selling drugs and yeah. running the streets and yes, all that. Yeah. So it's like I've had guns put in my face and all yeah. that. It's like you guys are just scared. Somebody's going to like talk smack about you on yeah. TV. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so it's like that's easy. You know, oh, you're going to go. He's going to go on TV and say something <laughs> bad about me. They're going to find out about my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. And so, oh, I'm t- you know, I and use this ex- comes in and slaps. <laughs> <all of> yourself. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, that sometimes that, that is that is what I have to do. Yeah. It's like, yo, get it together. Like yeah. you're, it is, it, you're clothed in immense power. Use it. Remember that. Yeah. Use it. Right. Like, well, but the pussification is increasing, right? Yes. I mean, we're all like in our little scared bubbles and social media is making us all pussies. Well, that's because also like the depth uh, that they're willing to go to like, like these media organizations and these political operatives, the depth they're willing to go has also gotten so deep. Mm. Like, for example, like a, a, a moment that was like that, like crossed a new line was when Brett Kavanaugh was getting conservative and yeah. they're uh, co- confirmed in the in the Senate for the Supreme Court thing. Mm. They bring up high school stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and it was like hot. I mean, it was kind of unbelievable, yeah. first of all, on its face. Yeah. But just think about like, oh, this like 40 year old man that's done all these things, you know, fi- you know, and like is a judge and all and like just all this stuff and they go all the way back to 18 thing yeah (laughs) tell us what it means to booth right and now you got to go out there and be like yeah i like beer (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. right it's like so stupid but it's like that's how far like yeah bro i was 18 like i did keg stands like yeah yeah yeah. you know what i mean like i was just having fun Mm -hmm. like what now it's gonna be held while i'm trying to get confirmed so that like that's the kind of thing right you don't know you don't know what they're ready to make a a mountain out of a mole yeah i mean because the purity testing is just so extreme at this point Mm -hmm. for everything well well, there's clicks in that too right it's crazy though how the left has become i mean it's so wild i was i caught a brief glimpse of a clip of it was of like RFK, Vivek, and like, I don't know, Tucker or something. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about like the environment and public health and shit. And I was like, dude, this... What it, this looks like a symposium of like 70s, 80s Democrats actually mm-hmm. talking about these things mm-hmm. where these are policies that are really relatable to a lot of people. But there's like a cultural wall, right, that needs to be uh, hurdle that needs to be hurdled by the Republicans at this point. Mm-hmm. But I was like, but now the puritanical ones are no longer the Republicans who are like, we need to ban prints from mm-hmm. the airwaves. Right? right. It's the Democrats now who are like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, they're the total right, pussies. Right, 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 well, right. it's because they can, there's there's no longer a debate debate right like yeah. they w- what happened was is you know they won the culture yeah. right and they won the culture for so long especially through you know hollywood academics mm, yeah. all, every every one of these that you know institutions that they won they got lazy you know victory yeah. defeated them yes, right yes. like they, sure, they had sure. no way they couldn't keep their arguments sharp and their ideas sharp yeah. and like they just lived in what what they had already won and so now we not only do you have new ideas coming out of the right but some on the right are like you know what some of these ideas on the left aren't like terrible yeah. either right some of these things can be worked in yeah. to this like 
new framework, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe not like an old Republican framework, but in a, in a, in a it new is, one. We're operating in a dialectical fashion, though, right? right? Exactly. That the new right wing is synthesizing all a lot of those left wing ideas right. and making them their own. And I think one thing that's important is that the left wing or the Democratic Party, I should actually say, part of that cultural victory with it came the spoils of the victory, which is like getting really cozy with the corporations. Right. You know what I mean? And now they're the party of the corporations now. It's it's a mm. very crazy radical shift that's well, happened. Because the corporations want to be comfortable too, right? Yeah. So that's like, how can I, it's like, these are the guys who won the culture. My future customers are probably yeah. going to end up believing all this stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to give the money to these guys who not only have the levers of government power, yeah. but have this culture, have this cultural sort of adoption that all these future customers also adopt. Right. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to be totally corporatist yeah. with mm. the Democrats, but we're going to, you know, we're going to throw a, a gay a gay pride flag, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. on my Twitter profile, yeah, yeah. you know, during the and month do, like of the June. black uh, thing blocks up back on right. black it's box the, on it's feed the simple or whatever. Yeah, yeah. of the culture, right? Yeah. Like you can, can kind of see just b the change based on who would the black guy call corny now. Right. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Y'all corny. Oh, that, yeah. In the 80s, that was the right. Y'all corny. Yeah. Now it's left 100%. Oh, yeah. Well, I Who's think corny? I, it's, it's, and it's all with moneyed interests and it all boils down to, oh, yeah. You're corny now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. right. Like, you're, you're not edgy. Like, if Nothing's everyone there. agrees with you, right? Like, everyone with a cultural sort of approval, everyone with a uh, a government political approval, mm. right? Like down to just like, you know, uh, the HR lady at your, mm. at, you know, at your company, like who's really in charge. And so like, yeah. not only that, it also stifles them because some, you know, because they have the power. Now it's everything I have to do to preserve that power. Okay, right but now they're like cornered hyenas, though. Right. Because they're not taking it like the right did, which is like, well, I guess we're just going to keep developing our ground game or whatever it is. Right. They're like, no, now we're going to do lawfare. Mm. We're going to shut down Telegram. We're going to come after all. We, we're going to try and control air as we yeah. know it so yeah. that there can't be another turn. Well, right? yeah, it's, right. regi it's the regime. It's regime is mask off and iron fist. Yeah. Right. Like they don't like I don't care how this looks. Because mm. we just need to like do Isn't it. Isn't that every regime though? As it's dying, it's like no. The, because you're supposed to develop grip. soft power and moral right. high ground. No, no, and, no, you know, as you're losing it, don't people grip harder and harder and harder? Like to they grip harder to power. Yes, to right. whatever right. it is. Right. So that does. It's just any way I need. I can right. preserve this at this point. And the more they're threatened, they have no more moral high ground that they can resort to. They start, you know, being more vicious. It's, it's gonna go full circle, and you're gonna get some like super left wing lady being like, "You're just being gay right now." <laughs> yeah, 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 like, oh, she broke. <laughs> well, she's broken. <laughs> well, well, I mean, you're gonna hope for that because this is <laughs> yeah. actually what I think the future of the Democratic Party mm -hmm. is like. Listen, I, we can see it now. You see it in all the numbers, and like, you know, how young men and men are shifting to Republicans, and women are shifting yes, to yes. Democrats, and you know, uh, what's his face, uh, Car James Carville. You know, too many preachy women. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, like he's <laughs> he's seeing that right. Yeah. That the Democrats have too feminine of a message and yeah. too feminine of a body. So what happens though when you have such an oversaturation of feminine energy in the party, right? You're going to have a masculine energy that comes and responds and takes control yeah. again. But what does that masculine energy look like on mm. the left? And it's going to be trans women. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they are going to be in charge of the Democratic Party. OK, because, Dude, the other day I did just see a video of like a trans woman in a pantsuit. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, he, he still got the shoulders. You can't yeah, transition yeah. out of that very easily. Just smacking microphones like I'll fucking wreck you, yeah. motherfucker. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. And, that, and in that moment, you see what comes out. Right. Yeah. It's the man in them. Yeah. Right. It's not like it's not a fan. Oh, Oh, it's, it's, it's no, it's not that. Yeah. So not only do they have like the masculine will, but mm. also like they're also highly sexualized and they're re ready to let that energy mm, go yeah. and use it to protect their interests because they're men. Mm, yeah. At the end of the day, but they're <laughs> only accepted on the left. And on the left so, side, you know, you, you like the trans women who are men could literally assault somebody. And the white ladies are like. He's passionate yeah, about yeah, his yeah, yeah. He's like really powerful. Well, yeah, it's like I want to suck her dick. I want to suck her dick. Stat slay queen. Okay, literally, yeah. you're slaying somebody. But I'm telling you, that's going to be the future. And then the beta males are going to be subject to the women yeah. and the trans women. Right, right, right. It's fascinating. You know, well, beta males. I feel like have been called out now. The whole idea, because there was a moment where I think they had some power. 
beta males were winning in a weird sense in the left. But now I think it's like every, everything's fucking done. It's been called out. There's been enough like weird beta rapists that have been called out that everything's fucking uh, yeah, you know, but on, the I mean, I, yeah, on the left. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. never will ever trust ever, <laughs> no matter how, how, many, how many sympathies yeah. I have for the left wing causes, I will never, ever, ever trust a male political organizer on the left. Oh, yeah. I immediately oh, assume yeah. rapists. You want pussy? Oh, yeah. Creepy rapists. Yeah. That's what I assume immediately. It's so, and, and it's like a particular kind, right? It's like oh, yeah. the ones who are like, you know, the the male feminists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, of, of course, course. Right? Of course. The closer the issue yeah. is to women yeah. and the man who's there, like so vociferously, like oh, yeah. defending yeah, and advocating course, for course. that's the guy. Yeah, to that's watch the guy out. with the skeletons in his closet. Oh, so yeah. you know what I mean? And like all and like all sorts of the LGBT stuff, all that anything that's sexualized mm. yeah. is gonna attract someone who's into you, sexual you stuff. Know yeah. women, right? Very true. You Very know true. Women, right? Yeah, cat guy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's nice. Takes him on He's dinner. Takes up the seat. You get what you get. Yeah, what, you, what you see is what you get with him. <laughs> right. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you're transparent, okay. But well, like these guys, but they're too scared to be transparent. That's, yeah. what's, well, that's what, what beta is. Well, yeah, I, I, that's true. But not living it, authentically. Right, yeah. exactly. Is, isn't it like done now? Isn't that, con I feel like 2021, 2022, no, that them having any semblance of say in the lexicon or in the dialect is gone now. Well, Every, the, no dude that's beta has any real power anymore right like uh, no that's not true they can whatever power they still have left that's yeah. why they're going to package it into the women sure. who into, like into the women like, with oh, the packages yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that's actually that's so good yeah, yeah. That's that good. is so take good take that bitch and run <laughs> with I'm it I'm a yeah. 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 that was so good oh, that was good I'm a Muslim perfect. now perfect bro perfect <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Lakeham indeed <laughs> That's a call back to our episode. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> I love that. But that's exactly, look, I, it, that's it. That is what's going to happen is these guys are going to say, okay, well, the women have all the political yeah. capital. We're betas. I, the alpha is going to tell me like, you're, you're my slave now. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm not going to go on that side. Yeah. You know, this is where I could still keep myself, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go invest with the women and the trans women, whatever, and make them my deal with them. And, I'm just going to hope my numbers grow and these people are going to be able to make mm. the numbers grow. Well, you know what I think is an interesting phenomenon, too, because we see that there are things you see the murmurs of culture shifting in favor of the right a little bit. But the legacy media still won't budge in that direction. And so what I feel like is that it's going to become even more of a graveyard and a wasteland. Right. And we're going to be seeing more the mainstream media, the mainstream media. And beyond just what we're seeing of like, oh, independent journalists of having Glenn Greenwald out there or the Aaron Mates and so on. Mm -hmm. who are, I feel like there's got there's some other kind of superstructure that's going to emerge on the right that can assume the same kind of bully well, I don't pulpit. Think, no, I don't think it's the superstructure right now. I think it's the continual fracturing and decentralization that mm -hmm. that that happens, right? So, like, but you don't see that because the decentralization always has to coalesce into something else, right? New, but right? For, but like that, but it's. It, it depends on what your assumption is, where we are in the in the fracturing sure, and all that. Definitely. And I think we're still in like fracture mode, yeah, right? Yeah. I think right. the idea being that like because we have the internet, like, and nobody trusts the legacy media and like these kind of like central you know mm. information distribution centers. Actually, if you think about it in a certain way, X is now kind X of the, is the that's the, the newest thing in terms right, of what I'm talking about, right? right? In terms right. of what's going to be the and big so thing. So now it's like you know, Bill Ackman is now writing, mm, yeah, and giving his, it's it's about like each individual. It's really who do I trust? Right. Yeah, I also, right? I also that's feel like the better it's very question. Right, right. Now, right. You know? it's not. I don't trust yeah. institutions, so I'm not trusting yeah. CNN. Yeah, who's the who's the one guy on CNN? Maybe I trust. I'll listen to him. Yeah, you know I, what I, I mean. I feel yeah, like yeah. on Israel Palestine when it was happening, you saw a lot of that that fracturing, right? So it's like everyone chose like one guy to follow. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm following this Greg Stoker mm -hmm. for my news on this. Right, and you became it became like very fractured, but also very like very like like. What do you call it? Like homogenized in terms of like only one source. Uh -huh. I'll choose my source. It's atomized almost. Atomized. It's, atomized. Atomized. That's yeah. Yeah. it's totally. It's yeah. like this is my guy, and then that's it. Yeah. And so it kind of becomes weird because you're having your own Fox News just in one person, or you're having your own CNN in one person. That's the cult of personality. That's it's the concept, right. Right. It's yeah. not just like oh, I like this guy's information. There's usually something else too. Some yeah. juiciness. Yeah. yeah. Something well, here, like, speaking of Israel Palestine, here's the most fascinating. It's not. It's very predictable actually to me, but very fascinating thing that I've seen coming out of the, the so-called left Dem side mm -hmm. is uh, now I'm seeing more stuff on TikTok where it's going to be like sassy female black TikTokers 
talking shit about the Palestinians. Mm. You know what I, I mean? Seen this. Because that's where they're that's the <laughs> battle that they're fighting right now internally, right, right. right? Is having to deal with the Palimaxers, you know oh, what I yeah. mean? Who are like fully knives out for the Dems, you know? And so what are you seeing is now the Democratic establishment, you know, Kamalanti mm-hmm. has completely now activated the kind of BLM army that they had, right, to uh, turn on the Pallymaxers so pretty it, much. Well, well, I mean, this is this is the fundamental flaw of the left now exposing itself because actually it was, you know, I don't, I don't know how you feel about Jordan Peterson, but like there was something very, very uh, succinct that that point that he made in that actually intersectionality is the thing that kills the left, mm-hmm. right? It's yeah. the idea that like, well, you know, um, do you have enough trans women on your board? Mm, and it's right. like, OK, well, do you have enough black trans women on your board? Yeah, do right. you have enough black trans women on your board yeah. who have no legs? Exactly. You know what yeah, I mean? And so, and, and so that it, it's that's endless. And mm. then it like destroys itself. Yeah. There's just not enough people. So in order for like these groups to get along, these like disparate groups to get along, you need something that like unifies them. But yeah. structurally, the thing is built <laughs> so, on dividing them yes. and categorizing them more and more. So, right. into, so you need someone boxes. who is all things back to trans women. Yeah. Right. Who are men. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's like we're, oh, and you're handicapped and you're disabled. So it's like all those fractured come back into the one person who has all of them. Right. So like they're taking all like the fucked up shit. Yeah. yeah. And then the right is taking all, like, I think that's that we're taking all like the good normal shit that's kind of been tested over time <laughs> yeah you know it's like oh you know man has been a man for you know however long humans mm. have been around women so we're gonna like err on that side mm-hmm. like what is time tested what is what can we be sure about well There's organizationally science, that does make know? more sense yes. right just in terms of what you were talking about all that what you were talking about in terms of the left the it, the increasing fractionalization of society and the need to accommodate every single part can only lead to a sort of ossification of those structures, right? right. Where they can no longer really move. Mm-hmm. Um, and so but, that's but, where but we're getting, getting yeah. You had people who were like kind of a lot of black people who were like, they didn't help us during BLM, so mm-hmm. we gonna hate Muslims now. Yeah, <laughs> weird, weird, like kind of like warring between the factions based on the ossification of like, well, my identity didn't get taken care of, right? So mm-hmm. now I'm gonna hate your identity. And so it kind of it's eating its own head well, a little well, bit, right? Yeah, and that's a, and that's an unfortunate sort of uh, symptom of what's actually going on. And what's actually going on is like the it, this, these are all patronage groups at the end of the yeah. day, right? Like for so long, the black vote and the black community was, you know, in with the Democrats and back, yeah. right? Like the Congressional Black, black Caucus. Jim Clyburn is one of the most powerful people in the Democratic Party because yeah. he's able to control the Congressional Black Caucus and all the black votes underneath that, right? And so that so. That has always been the patronage system, like back and forth between between the Democrats. But now the Democrats are kind of shifting away from, you know, pandering so much to the Democrats. They have to also include, <laughs> they have to also include. Well, well, they heard too many old black dudes being like, I ain't about that gay shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Because, right. Because they were like, ah, oh, we lost some over there. Okay. Can we replace them somewhere else? We lost the you old know? black man. Bro. Yeah. And so like, you know, when they talk about the great replacement or whatever, like I'm talking about like, yo, like the, the, you, if you're black, uh, like a black American <laughs> ADOS or yeah, FBA yeah. or whatever you want to call yourself, sure, you're yeah. being replaced too. Yeah. Yes. 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 Look, I'm, you know, my, my parents came. I was born here in '91. My parents came to this country. We're being replaced while oh. we're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean by these illegal, like every single one of us. If you have an American citizenship, mm. you are being replaced. Mm. That's the point, right? Right. It's that I need somebody who's somehow cheaper and a more efficient and more, you know, a, a sure, unit sure. that I can control more. Right. E- easier to control. That's what it's yeah. about. And so the patronage networks are now pissed because like with the power comes like the straight hard cash and the hard support and the hard resources mm. yeah. too. And so as the the Democrats not only start ignoring this like, you know, this the black community and the patronage networks that were built on top of that, that comes with less money, re- less resources and more of the stuff going to the Pally Maxers and yeah. like, you know, all like uh, the illegal immigrants now, the Hispanics mm-hmm. and all because those numbers are growing. Even if you look at it, you know, uh, the black population in America is declining. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. they're not having enough births. They abort a lot of their their babies and all. So like 
these people aren't dumb that run the Democratic Party. They're seeing how the yeah. rate the Hispanics, the Asians are growing, and yeah. you know, beta whites are growing, and they're gonna they're like that's the that's the fastest yeah. growing group in America. Is by the beta way, whites. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, the fastest growing mass shooter demographic in America per capita is trans people. Okay, <laughs> shit, I was waiting for it, Vish. It's is 100%. that true? Jesus Look Christ! <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> is that a causation fallacy? Uh, you think when you become trans, I'm you sorry, but the Nashville shoot shooter, shooter to me was yeah. more affirming of the fact. <laughs> that trans men are men okay <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i was like only a dude would be shooting up like that be like that's up. dude just, he's a shooter well i mean if you're like pumped up with testosterone yeah. trying to become that i mean what do you think <laughs> is gonna happen you know you're just like literally high on drugs god we're gonna get booted off of youtube take those, insults, I can feel take it. those insults up make them women take, <laughs> take away their shooter energy i mean you know if you read the manifesto which just actually got dropped <laughs> Do you know what was so funny with the Nashville shooter? Babe, she, it was because she couldn't get a girl that she wanted to get to who was a brown girl. And she was like, yes. brown girls only want bodies with penises yeah. or something like that. Did you read that? Uh, no, I yeah. didn't. I did it. I was in amazing. the thing. I think I saw it. Uh, and, like Glenn was talking about it or said Glenn Greenwald. And uh, I was like, fascinating. Well, fascinating. Look, you, a, a lot of problems <laughs> on a root level yeah. Yeah. are sexual issues. Are libido issues. Of course, yeah. of course. You know what I mean? And like about like, you know, because we have a desire to reproduce, grow, grow our families, have yeah. somebody who we love, even, you know, on a certain level, whatever it is. But like, if you can't get that and you've been told that's something you want that you're supposed oh, yeah. to get. I, I'm waiting for somebody to shoot up a school and be like, I got too much pussy. Yeah. I got to call it down. I got to <laughs> shoot all the bones. It takes me too much. I think that's going to be you. Actually. <laughs> I have my money on that. He's yeah. the only one. Yeah. Between, are you six feet? I'm six feet one. All right. Everyone you're, stop sucking my dick. Just shoots shoots everybody. <laughs> I'm five feet. I, you know, one, if you want it, you want it, it'd be fucking done. No, you know? I'm, I'm more Krishna, you know, 16,000 concubines. Yeah. That's, that's, what I, that's my life. <laughs> all hanging out don't, in my don't, court. Don't uh, put the Muslims out. We also out here. No, nah, y'all invited. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> that's that's okay, that's it. We've been getting theoretical a little bit. <laughs> I want to bring it down to some more current things that have been happening. Okay, why did Trump bring up the cat eating at the debate? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? First of all, it's something easy to digest right. and understand, cat right? Cat is literally. not that easy to digest, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it literally is. Yeah. <laughs> like no, the cats aren't... I can't believe people. It's just so disgusting. But that's the whole point, is that it's something that on a mass communication scale is easily digestible. One of the reviews that I had about the Trump-Kamala debate mm -hmm. is that as I'm watching it, because I'm looking for, okay, yeah... This works on t TV, whatever it is, but how does it work after TV, mm. right? Like, how is this going to be used on the internet, yeah. right? So I'm, I'm not just looking for the ephemeral impact of mm. what's being said or done on TV. I'm also looking for its potential virtual impact yeah right and so like i'm like, like what are the viral lines here who you know yeah how, what's gonna have whose performance has staying power yeah right mm. and ultimately trump is the master of that mm. and so he's the one that's why after the debate there's no clips of kamala going viral right mm, now yeah. it's there's but somebody decided to cut up the cat you know yeah. they're eating the cats yeah they're eating the dogs <laughs> right and it's become they're dancing to, to yes. songs you on know, tiktok it's so, it's about so funny that you mentioned that because it's like thinking like a comedian at this point of like well okay i have a set that i'm recording but i'm not putting out the whole what are the clips going to be what's yeah. going to yeah. be the best clip and it's yeah. so funny i was talking i was texting with a friend of mine during the debates and he kept being like oh that's going to be a clip that's going to be a clip that's mm. going to be a clip and right. so i think you're right about that that's a hundred percent so you don't think that's gonna work against him in any way no 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 it's not it's just again it's about the it's the permeation through the culture right you've got to flood the zone yeah it has to be you mm. all the time yeah right and that's that the one who wins that in that attention economy is the one who wins which is how he won in 2016 right, right? it's because msnbc thought he was going to be a clown mm -hmm. and they just kept bringing him on mm. kept bringing him on and oh, it's yeah. just like that For, and that's why they don't bring anybody on anymore right but now it's he like became coca 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 cola you know <laughs> exactly, I mean? exactly or mm. you know the the cigarette ad on yeah. tv right, you know right, what right, i mean right. so like that so they 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 stopped doing that, but now there's this ecosystem, this alternative ecosystem that's grown up podcasters and all that, yeah. and he stepped in, into it and leaned into yeah, that, totally. right. and so and now the because on. and with and and not only that because of its long form format and all that, you're getting all sorts of new content yeah, out of him. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Totally. And so that's good. That's what keeps him fresh. That's what reminds people who he is, yeah. what he is, how does he, you know, and and th how does he think about more things? That mm. was always Donald Trump's power anyway. He's been. 
in America's heart for like 30, 40, 50 it's true. years. Yeah, it's the guy's true. been campaigning for president. That's really essentially for that long. I mean, his whole life has been building a brand on his image as an executive. Right. You and know? so like that's what, you know, it's easy like that's also his power. The fact that he could come as a that has have never really be, done anything in politics before to the presidency, one of his big and he was able to win with less money than Hillary is because he's ha he came in with like 70 80 percent name id yeah automatically immediately off yeah. the bat yeah yeah right yeah. and so and then if you look at this race the guy's got a pop as soon as he announced 100 percent name id yeah Boom. right and so he could save money by not having to spend on name ID. most of these people spend on name id yeah most of the money you donate mm. to a a uh a campaign a political campaign is usually spe usually spent on advertising and name id yeah yeah right yeah. i need these people to know my name right. and that i'm with them and that's enough for them to come out and vote for me you yeah. already did this once you yeah. forget that he already did this right. and then won and not only that He's people remember back, yeah. back. so here, here's the other thing right this is actually the if you've ever what's um the the second uh, in Avengers Infin Infinity War Infinity movie. Endgame. Yeah. yeah. What was the point of Endgame? Right. How? Why didn't it? Why didn't Th Thanos's plan, which was kind of cockamamie anyway, but why didn't it work? Mm -hmm. What was the lesson he re <laughs> he realized? Why are you going to like Imam sermon mode now? <laughs> <laughs> Think of the Avengers. <laughs> why not the glove? Well, I need where the are we memes. Now? I need the memes. Hold the fucking phone. <laughs> I, I want the memory memes. First of all, my number one desire <laughs> is to go viral with like the memory thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, you're trying, you're trying to like, engineer like some shit right I now. Said. You're trying to engineer. <laughs> Reverse engineer a mango baby I right now. I see, I see you, bitch. I see what you're trying Vish, to do. Vish, Vish came in with a series of clips in mind. <laughs> Wait, you think these people Why keep me around movie, if I'm not it. thinking like that? I, course, uh, I love it. Right? I love it. I love it. Like, but Sorry like, to interrupt. Keep going. Yeah, yeah no, no. That, that's, I mean, in the end, what happened was he said, oh, I destroyed, you know, half the universe or whatever, thinking yeah. the other half would be happy with now the abundance. Mm. The problem was that too many of them remember mm. what it was like to have those people yeah and that they couldn't no matter what <laughs> abundance was given yeah I love it. right Dude. they just they, they, they remember wow how good those times were yeah yes. when she was in my life yes, when yes. that house was in my life when my do, you know Dude. when my five dollars could get me a bacon egg and cheese still right? I, I, like, I'm, I'm thinking a fish like came in with like every demographic in mind think of the backyardigans yeah <laughs> Think of Paw Patrol. You know, who was there on patrol? Who was actually clocking in? Wasn't the left. That's right. I'll say that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, look, that's those are the people we need to talk to. Yeah. Those are the people that don't come it. out to vote. You're just gonna get every single metaphor for every single demographic. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think I, I think it's a very interesting point. Like, right. Yeah, what, what we, I saying? remember. It's like, oh, if you could somehow make me forget about Trump by giving by the Biden Harris administration giving me like a good life, that would have been. That would have neutralized Trump. Okay, yeah, I, I but they question. didn't do that. But I, they didn't I, I, do I that. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. So do you think the left has learned anything in its failure against Trump last time around? Or do you think it's doing the same no, exact no, this thing? No, no. Nothing has changed. Nothing, because nothing. nothing has worked. Right. Yeah. Right? Like he's back and he's you, leading. You think at least one thing they'd know now to like at least hit that, but not even. Well, that's why they just went straight to the law fair. Like we're just going to. Like, right. Do you right. See the, it's the ascension also of the intent of guy. They literally tried to shoot him yeah they oh, did, yeah. They did try to kill him yeah because the lawfare stopped yeah, working too because the lawfare stopped working that was just yeah. like ah we got to take this guy uh, yeah out. we got exactly <laughs> you know like yeah and they and they fucking miss uh, i know because the democrat can't shoot right, right. You know of what course. i mean That's what, I, a great story i was uh hanging out one night um recently in dc and uh it was like 2 p.m. on a uh, 2 a.m. on a Monday. And the fact that we even got the cigar bar that we were hanging out with till 2 a.m., that was magic. But some of the girls I was with, they're like, we want to go to an after hours spot. Uh -uh -uh. And so like this like burly black guy steps out of the cigar bar. It's the end of his night, yeah. too. We're thinking and one of the girls goes up to him and is like, it's like, do you know where the after hours spot is? It's like he's like, if y'all want to go to an after hours spot, I got you. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm looking at these girls. I'm like. All right, whatever. Let's let's flow with this. Yeah. So we go to this after hour spot and on the way there in the Uber, this girl can't help it. She's, you know, this is DC, so it's, she's into politics yeah, and all yeah. that. And she's drunk. And she she's like, I could con I could convince anybody to be be a Republican, right? So yeah. she's try so now you oh, know she's right. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> she, she she may be. Yeah. Right. So she decides so she starts talking to him about politics and all that. And he's like having fun with it, but he's not like committing to anything. Mm. Right. And I was like, and I was like, I, I, I got this right here. 
I was like, yo, bro, I got the one line that'll convince you that, you know, to, to be a Republican. He's like, all right, hit me with it. I was like, all right, you can't be a gangster and a Democrat. Yeah. He started dying laughing. It's true. Yeah. He's it's like, so true. he's like, yo, you're so right. Yeah. That, he's like, that is good. I've never heard that before. Yeah. And it's so on point. Right. And it's, I mean, someone tried to. Omar from The Wire, he who, tried who was to, gay and also killed people. That's true. One, the one guy who made he would have, he would have voted Trump. But, but, <laughs> see, but I, Trump see, will make drugs great again too. By the way, because he's going to cut off the fentanyl. You know well, what you I mean? Know, I, think, I think Omar. See, but Omar is like a is a certain type of militant. No, no, gay. I'm joking. You know, yeah. no, he's definitely on the on the right side. Well, yeah, yeah no, because they're in his mind. It's like it's like. I'm the last straight man on earth. Right. And to prove it, I'm going to fuck every dude in the yeah, ass. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what that's I mean? how alpha male I am. There is yeah. nothing straighter than banging a dude in his butt. It, that's for sure. That's yeah. I mean, you know what I yeah. mean? That's, it's just a form of domination amongst what, men yeah. if it has to get to that. I you guess know in what prison I mean? politics, that's like how you determine who's female and who's male, right, who's right, dominant right. and who is, who is, who is subjugated. Right. Who right. fucks and who gets fucked. 100%. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Again, it's all, all politics are sexual. Maybe it's gotten so left in California now it's like in the bloods they're like what up my name's tiny t they them yeah What's going on? yeah you think they're doing that it's like, they used to like represent like their their neighborhood like hey yo six block money hey, you yo. know right. so, uh, and projects blah blah now it's like now it's like yo crypt c six is six block money uh he him pronouns yeah. but listen, no hold on you can't sleep on like the stud black lesbian chicks oh yeah they're well, hard they're hard as nails they're hard. well yeah that's so there there's that's also like one of the growing power centers of of the Democratic Party yeah, is right, like right. the studied uh, black woman mm. who's like gone to college and they have no, not studied stud. I like, mean, both. I mean, no, okay. it's studied. that's but like okay, to be ahead. that usually you have to be you have to be a stud girl to yeah. like yeah. make it right. Generally, right. Even if you could compare and say, well, they're not as smart as others. Yeah. But like they're getting through whatever the, the gauntlet mm. is. Right. Mm. And ending up with the credential. Yeah. Right. And so. Though that's another girl, and because they have like black women have a certain like standoffish, you know, a little more sort of uh, not like or a lack of aversion to confrontation, let's yeah. say that they're willing to get up in somebody's faces and defend, you know, what they believe in or yeah, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. And so they're yeah. like, they're also going to mm. be on the front lines of that. And look, that you know, for in those arguments, like you just can't be, can't be afraid to like, you know, kind of shoot down some of their ideas. And, and by the I way, mean, you know that we're the best way for us to counter that is to get black more black men on our side right yeah. uh, what is is kind of the deal so that's and you're seeing that you're yeah. actually seeing more of that happen i'd love to see the results um <laughs> you're making like in this <laughs> election right uh but you know donald trump whatever the polling was on uh, you know on his popularity with the black vote mm. when it came to election day he overperforms yes. always always mm. yeah always he overperforms <clears throat> on the that black men vote yeah. so and the black vote so. what do you think what's what's new york gonna look like for him i mean obviously he's not gonna win new york i but. think he i think he loses new york by like let's say Somewhere between four and six points. Wow, that's right? pretty but narrow, the, actually. But, but that, that's huge. No, that's a that's a win in our yeah, box because that's that means what I mean. yeah, because it's, it's a lot changing. of the house seats that means are saved. Yeah, you know that are Republican, right, to preserve our majority. And so, I think, and again, it's building on the progress Republicans have made in New York over yeah. time. Anyway, the way the House flipped was six feet, six seats in New York flipped from Democrat to Republican in twenty twenty two. That's how we got it. So we have to now keep those seats. It'll yeah. flip. I mean, huh? New York will never flip. I feel like there's enough white girls uh, moving knows, here. Dude, no, who knows? There's, no. enough, there's enough everyday 19,000 white actor girls move here to no. fucking make it. I, that never, influx alone, I think. Never, ever count no. out. Never, never count out realignment. And, I'll, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Especially, like, if you ask me, like, hey, where is the most potential for, uh, like, in the United States for the Republican Party to grow regionally? I actually think it's the Northeast. Yeah. And why? Because there's still a lot of white voters there. Yeah. Right. A lot of them. And that and it's it's still a very white part of the country. I said, I just need to convince these people like, yo, this identity politics stuff. It's going to eat you. It's not just course, yeah. it's not just something that's like, so, oh, like, oh, I get an Indian restaurant if, you know, in my neighborhood, if I import <laughs> like 10,000 of them. No, yeah. you don't need to import 10,000 10, of them for that. Do, you know yeah. what I mean? Is there no dynamic motherfucker on the left who can can bring people in is is it just done it, there's no one who can like 
I La- think the like, best ones I'm a are trans all like, basketball player. The best ones right now are all like reptilian <laughs> alpha male, like <laughs> right. a Gavin Newsom type, right? right. Which right. is like a slick. slick well, I'm well, a, slick well, well, yeah, a, a guy who b- believes in nothing and is totally Mac- yeah, right. Machiavellian. Yes. That's the only thing that will Can work say, on the yeah. left who is not in, like it's you're t- you have two choices. You either have an ideologue or you have somebody who's corrupt. Yeah. You have to pick one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I'm going to explain that. The ideologue cannot be bought because right. they believe in something. Mm. And they're going to whatever. They're, all their actions are, are about whatever they making, whatever they believe, making it a reality. Yeah. The corrupt person will negotiate. Of course. Right. Mm. Whatever it is. Like it's not nothing is off the table. Yeah. Well, do you see Trump, though, as like a hard ideologue? To me, I've always thought him as a pragmatist. I always see Trump. Okay. I honestly always see Trump mm-hmm. is that almost honestly like a 1990s style Clintonian liberal. So this is where people get it messed up, mm-hmm. I think, is that that, you know, when the media says to you that Donald Trump is a hard right, right yeah. winger ideologue, that's a total lie. Yes. Total, mm-hmm. total lie. What Donald Trump actually is, is a, a, a seriously pragmatic technocrat. Yeah. Right. Like it's like it's not really about ideas. It's about what works and what keeps like the most yeah. amount of people happy. Right, right, right. Like, yeah. you know, I'm flexible in my ideas, but it's really about how do I keep most Americans happy? Ultimately, in the one of an actual grand vision. Right, of, exactly. Like hmm. in, in tech terms, let's say like the primary stakeholder for Donald Trump that he's advocating on behalf of mm-hmm. is the American citizen. Yeah. Very expl- American citizen. Yeah. And so that never changes. That's why it's loyalty. His loyalty and patriotism is the thing that rings through to most people. I think you're right. I think people look at the two mm-hmm. and they're like, I kind of want to vote for the person who likes America. Yes. Right, 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 right. right. That's basically it. It's like, I want to vote for the guy who actually likes the country. Right. You know likes I mean? the country, which probably means he likes me in certain ways. Yeah. If mm-hmm. I consider myself an American. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like that people, generally people underestimate how the vibe of a good hang factors into these things too. Like, who do you want to hang out with? Who who has the better vibe just right. hanging out? I was looking at the Theo Vaughn uh, podcast with him and Trump, mm-hmm. and I walked away like, this guy's a sweetie pie. Yeah. He is a sweetie pie. He's sweet. He's a, he's a funny dude. He's a sweet That's guy. Well, my favorite part of that was when he was like fascinated with uh, Vaughn talking about the like cocaine. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Donald first time here. Oh, wow. like, wow. 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 interesting. You're telling wow. me for the first wow. time. Yeah. Right? Wow. So he's like, like wow. he's, oh, he's right. like, where does it take you? You know, yeah. he responds <laughs> is like, to, you know, it takes you. And he's just like totally yeah. fascinated by it. Like that's, but see, the thing is that he gives you that too. Yeah. The whole thing on Kamala now is she hides from cameras. Oh, she yeah, does yeah. mock right, dinners right, before right. actual dinners. Uh, it's crazy. A, mm. t- tell me that's that's not crazy. Like, and in of, order to cope in those situations, she has to get wasted a little bit. Oh right? yeah, no, she's wine mom wasted yeah. like all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like if you go, if you watch yeah. her and like you see her mannerisms, it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, yeah. You, you know, guys know. Uh, you guys uh, know. And, and then the lid, and then you know the, <laughs> the lid gets the, the lipstick all over it. You know? It's like. And she, you know, she does the, the code switch affectation yeah. there. It's like, can what, we do but, something about the lid? You know? <laughs> why, why are you wearing bangles and a do-rag here? What's going yeah. on? Just, she, she will do anything, anything by yeah. anything, right? right? So, like, that, but that's the thing. You know, it reminds me of a story of my representative, Nicole Maliotakis, who I just, like, we've... We've kind of been sworn enemies for a while, mm-hmm. right? And so I have no problem, like, going in the press talking smack about her or whatever. Um... But as I was doing like opposition research, because I ran Joey Salads against her in the 2020 primary, didn't go anywhere. But I was making a point that she sucks. Yeah. Right. And I was going to I was going to tell everybody how much she sucks using Joey Salads. Right. And so. So. And by the way, love Joey. It's not you know, we it was it was all beneficial for everybody. But. One of the things I found was this article talking about, like, Nicole being a a politician or whatever, and they ask her mother, like, so, like, how did, you know, Nicole get into politics? And she says, you know, the mother, this this is Nicole's mother. She says, you know... Uh, I noticed she didn't really have any friends. Wow. So I told her to go get involved in politics. <laughs> so that's like an actual sociopath. Yeah. That's like. Yeah, because she does like she has no like social skills. Like yeah. nobody likes her just because they like her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Actually. And that's the thing. You go. She's like it, it's hard for her to shake somebody's hand, look you in the eye, be around you for yeah. a little bit, yeah. tell a joke like that's yeah. that's very difficult for her. Right. right. And so like this is the kind of person Kamala is. Too. you weren't built 
to for politics, yeah. but you wanted power. Yes, yes, exactly. Right, right, right. right? Like, uh, that's the difference between Clinton. That, Clinton that? was always hold known it, as the natural. Yeah. Sorry, but, uh, we're going right. to keep going on the Patreon. Come on down. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Mango Bish. More with Bish. Your Mango Bish. Hey.